Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. In this video, we will cover the bridge design pattern. This is a type of a structural design pattern. In this video, I'll explain what is bridge design pattern, where to use bridge design pattern in our project, and I'll also show an implementation of bridge design pattern using Java language. At the end, we will also discuss the benefit of this pattern. Friends, we have already covered the adapter design pattern in the previous video. Can you explain what is adapter design pattern and how to use it? Please reply your answer in the comment section. If you have not seen that video, so please go and see the previous video. Link is provided in the description section. Just to summarize, adapter pattern makes the incompatible classes working together. So go check the detail in previous video. Okay, let's start with the bridge pattern. So what is bridge pattern? Bridge design pattern creates a clear separation between abstraction and implementation. Bridge pattern helps decoupling an abstraction from implementation. Bridge pattern is to decouple an abstraction from its implementation so that both can vary independently without impacting each other. That is, changing an implementation should not affect the abstraction and vice versa. At the first glance, bridge pattern would sound like an adapter pattern, but that is not the case. So what is the difference between adapter and, and bridge pattern? In adapter pattern, a class is used to convert one kind of interface to other type of interface. However, the intent of adapter pattern is to make different interface look the same for the classes working together. But the bridge pattern is designed to separate the class's interface from its implementation so that you can vary the implementation without changing the client code. So understood the difference between adapter and bridge pattern? Let's understand a bridge pattern with an example of electrical switch and an electrical equipments. Let's first understand what is abstraction and implementation in this example. Switch is an abstraction and electrical equipments are implementations. The switch can be applied to any electrical equipment so that switch is an abstract thinking while the equipment are implementations. Let's try to implement the same example of switch and equipment in our Java code. Now let's see how the bridge pattern is implemented in the code. I have prepared a code snippet for the bridge pattern. I'll show an implementation of bridge pattern in Java language. You don't worry, I have shared this project in the GitHub repository. You can download the code and play with it. The link of GitHub repository is given in the video description. Now let's see how bridge pattern is implemented in Java code. I'm using Java 8 with IntelliJ IDE. After code walkthrough, I will run the code and show you a demo. So if you can see, I have a package bridge inside Java design pattern and it is of a structure type. I have defined an interface I equipment. This interface having two method. One is a start and one is a stop. So to start and stop equipment, I have defined this interface. Now I have defined two electrical equipment. One is bulb implementing I equipment and then implementing those methods, start and stop. And it started saying I started bulb and in stop, it's saying stopped bulb. Same way I have another equipment implementing the same interface i equipment that is a started refrigerator a stop refrigerator now what i have to do is i have defined so this is our implementation now we have defined another interface switch and switch is having two operations one is on and off now this switch can perform that operation on 
any electrical equipment irrespective of electrical equipment we can use the switch so in the class switch this class switch is implementing that interface and in this class this is kind of a bridge pattern where we have an object of i equipment defined here and we have a method where we are initializing this object so in this method we are passing that equipment and then we are in we are we are initializing that object with the with the with the attribute which is passed here now when we call on method then it is doing it is calling equipment dot start when it we are when we are calling off method then it is calling equipment dot stop so this switch is working on an equipment whatever equipment is passed inside this method so this is an implementation of bridge where the different equipment can be passed here but switch will perform the same operation of turning on and turning off that equipment now we have also written a test class where i have defined two electrical equipment one is object bridge and object refrigerator you can see the types are i equipment they are using interface type and we have defined one single switch okay now we'll use this single switch to operate on these two equipments okay this is the beauty of bridge pattern so what i am doing is using the switch object i am first setting equipment bulb so that this operation is acting on bulb when i am saying object on it is turning on the bulb when when i'm saying switch off then it is turning off the bulb now what i'm doing is i'm using the same switch to operate on refrigerator equipment so before that i am setting my equipment type is refrigerator i'm passing refrigerator equipment in this method and then again calling on and off so internally it will be operating on that equipment start and stop method so okay let me run this quickly here you go it says a started bulb a stopped bulb then it started refrigerator stop refrigerator so you can see a same switch same switch object is used to perform operation on two different <coughs> equipments so this is a beauty we have segregated the abstraction and implementation and our implementation is changing at run time we are changing from we are switching between the bulb and and refrigerator and switch is able to perform that operation isn't amazing right now let's see where to use bridge pattern whenever you want to separate the abstraction from its implementation that time we can use bridge pattern whenever you want to share an implementation among multiple objects that time you can use bridge pattern whenever you want to reuse existing resources in an easy to extend fashion that time you can use bridge pattern and whenever you want to hide implementation details from the client changes in implementation should have no impact to the client that time you can use bridge pattern okay so what is the benefit of bridge pattern the biggest benefit is the program can select the implementation dynamically at run time the abstraction and implementation can be independently extended without impacting each other okay let me summarize the video what we have learned about bridge pattern so we understood what is bridge pattern in this video we saw the use case of bridge pattern we also saw the code implementation of bridge pattern and at the end we also discussed the benefit of bridge pattern friends let me know if you have used bridge pattern in any of your project or having a scenario where this pattern can be very useful please reply in the comment section with your answer in the next video we will cover composite design pattern we will see what is composite design pattern we will learn the usage of composite design pattern we will see an implementation of composite design pattern in java language and we will understand the benefit of composite design pattern so stay tuned for the next video and do not forget to subscribe this channel 
Please like and share this video. This is very useful information for the students, beginners and software engineers. Please click on the bell icon for the latest video notification and subscribe to this channel for more programming and technology related videos. Thank you.